Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series we show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 playthrough. So, you just made it through Irithol, the Boreal Valley, and now you're on to Pontiff Sultan. So, the things we're going to be bringing into this fight, we are going to have the cell Sharp Cell Sword Twin Blades plus 5, the Normal Knight Armor, the Lloyd Sword Ring, the Estus Ring, the Pontiff's Right Eye, the Karthus Milk Ring, and some Charcoal Pine Resin. So with that said, just go ahead and dual wield your twin blades and switch to your charcoal pine resin. Walk up to about this bench and go ahead and apply that immediately. Then he's going to run on up, roll through his first attack, try and get him with a nice L1. And then you're just going to roll past his next attack, try and get him with an R1. You want to do R1s for the majority of the fight. Uh, occasionally you can get in an L1, but he does a lot of damage and is pretty fast hitting, so... Generally, uh, R1's gonna be the way to go. Go ahead and just get a quick one right there. I see I have time for a couple of L1s, so I'll send those in. Roll through, so you can get another one of those uh, R1s in pretty soon. There we go. Just keep digging them in. He'll keep taking damage. Already quarter of the way down, that's pretty good. Yeah, so Pontiff Sullivan, he's very fast, doesn't have a ton of health. So he's kind of like the Abyss Watchers in that way, where he's a little bit faster, not quite as much health. So, you're just going to take him down a little bit more. Then he's going to go into the second phase. Once he goes down, just go ahead and roll out of there before he sends out that big black cloud, because that will damage you significantly. Then, eventually, after one or two attacks, he will put up his purple sword, and that will keep him in place for a couple of seconds. You go ahead and smack him around. It will also summon a clone of him, which uh, will do an attack before he does it, but it can damage you as well. It's like two of them fighting eight at once. You can kill the clone, and it only takes a couple of hits, so I'm going to reapply some resin and walk back up and try and take care of that clone pretty quickly. Uh, he is a little bit less aggressive, though, when he has the clone with him, so it depends if you like his high aggression or his low aggression. I personally prefer his high aggression state, so I try to kill that clone as fast as possible. Also, when the clone is dead, he can resummon the clone, and that will lead for more uh, for him raising his purple sword and then you'd have that opportunity to attack again so all a matter of personal preference for that one so I just keep digging into him for that he's going for the slam there we go didn't quite dodge that but it was pretty good try and just get around this pretty quickly there we go he's raising up that purple sword again you got a couple of seconds to get on in there and attack oh he's got about probably one health exactly dang that's pretty low there we go and finish him off Okay, and that is how you beat Pontiff Sullivan using a knight. Okay, so now you know how to beat Pontiff Sullivan using a knight, I'm going to show you how to beat him using a mage. So, let's see. First, we are going to have the Rostor Straight Sword plus 5, the Sorcerer Staff plus 4. We're going to have the Young Dragon Ring, the Pontiff's Right Eye, the Estus Ring, and the Lloyd Sword Ring. Also, the sorceries we're going to use in this fight is the Great Magic Weapon and the Pestilent Mist. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and just buff your staff. Then you're just going to run up to the about third bench again. Go ahead and buff your weapon. And then head right up to him. Then roll through his first attack. Going to try and hit him. So the beginning of this fight is going to be pretty similar to the knight. Really starts uh, changing a little bit near his transition into second phase. So, you're just going to go ahead and roll around the side, just like last time. Try and roll around, get a couple of quick hits on him. Backing out whenever you need to. Remember, his combos are quite long, so make sure to uh, be mindful and just keep on rolling. There we go. So, if you ever go to that slam attack, it generally gives you enough time to heal, so keep that in mind. Go ahead and start smacking around a little bit more. One, two, three. There's some of those big combos I'm talking about. See, even I couldn't remember how long that puppy went for, so when in doubt, roll it out. Okay, let's see, especially for this guy, because sometimes he can do short combos, sometimes he can do big combos, so you just gotta stay on your toes for this one. There we go. Let's go ahead and smack him around a little bit. This is where you're going to want to switch to the Pestilent and Miss. Go ahead and cast. If you can get it off, it works pretty well, but I did not successfully get it that time. So you're going to want to just go ahead and wait for that sword to go up send out that puppy once then you're going to go ahead and get out of there and that will do a little bit of damage to the boss 
can then just go ahead and heal, and hopefully you'll be able to keep damaging those guys away. See, the clone is actually almost dead already, and the clone has now died to the Pestle Mist, so always good. So, then you're just going to resume fighting him as normal. So just try and stay away from his attacks and not get hit like me. Then, try and get that right through the middle when he charges up like that. Then when he goes for the next summon, run back up, should be able to get a couple of quick hits in on him. Should be able to get him pretty low health at this point. So, remember that the uh, ghost always does what Pontiff is going to do, but does it first, and also it does a lot of damage, so if you get hit by that one, it's better than getting hit by the real one, so you have to make, if you have to make that choice to get hit by one of them, get hit by the fake one. Okay, so it's like he's going to be uh, just kind of staying pretty calm for right now, so let's just keep smacking him around, wait for this combo to go ahead and just end. Yes, his clone can do that combo, and yes, it's bad, so make sure to just run away whenever that happens. Okay, then you're just going to run back in, try and get past them, hoping for him to go, yep, raise the little sword up again, going to go in there, get a couple more quick hits, uh, right eye just kicked in, and there we go, and that is how you are going to beat Pontiff Sullivan using a knight and a mage. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.